Now, I've spoken a lot about Tableau Server and Tableau Public and Tableau Online, so it's probably good if I, in a bit more detail, just explain what the um, what the distinction of these these three things are really. So when we have we talk about Tableau Server, we talk about software installed and and managed by 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 yourself, the customer, or a, a, a provider supporting you, um, and that can be installed on premise or, or in the cloud. Uh, so you can install that Tableau software perhaps um, or on an on-premise server on site at one of your locations, um, or you could install it in the cloud in Azure or Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud Platform, um, whatever your whatever your preference is. Um, but effectively, you're you're installing and and maintaining maintaining that software. Um, Tableau Online, on the other hand, is a service that's hosted by Tableau, where you have you have a dedicated private site, um, but all of the maintenance and installation is is handled by by Tableau themselves. Essentially, under the hood, uh, what you have with Tableau Online is a, a gigantic installation of Tableau Server um, that Tableau themselves are giving you uh, access to um, via via a private site. Uh, when we talk about the Tableau Online site, it's probably good if we just dash back a little bit to go to uh, when we were talking about multi-tenancy. So effectively, what Tableau Online is, is a single one of these multi-tenancy sites. Uh, so if you actually had a requirement that you needed separate sites for separate customers when you're serving them with external analytics, then you would need to uh, license more than one site from Tableau, Tableau Online um, and license those sites separately. When you're actually using Tableau Server, you have the ability to, to create as many independent sites uh, as, as you need, uh, depending, on your, depending on your user requirements. Now, finally, Tableau, Tableau Public. This is, this, is very, this is very rarely used, but there are some instances where it can come in useful. Uh, it's essentially a free service hosted by Tableau where all the content is public. So if we look at the dashboard that I actually embedded before, uh, you can see that this is actually this is Tableau Public, and this is a dashboard uh, which which was uh, was embedded uh, just solely for this solely for this demonstration. Uh, similarly, uh, it's possible that if you owned a, a newspaper perhaps and you wanted to embed a data visualization in in a in a web page of that newspaper, then you could construct the visualization using Tableau Online, um, and you could embed it embed it within embed it within there. Um, perhaps if you had a, a public blog site that you wanted to maintain, and then again you could use sorry you could use Tableau Public uh, to actually embed uh, embed that. Um, the the benefit of this is that it's 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 entirely free. Uh, the only the only drawback is that because it is public information, anybody with web access has access to view view your data. Um, so it's not it's not appropriate for anything where there is any any privacy or security um, that you need to actually apply to the apply to the data itself. And just kind of going through a few of the uh, kind of the distinctions here. Um, so one of the other considerations when you're deciding between Tableau Server and Tableau Online is, is, is the licensing scheme. Uh, so predominantly, uh, Tableau is based, on, is based on user licensing. So you pay a, a monthly fee, depending on the number of, uh, number of unique users that you have. And that's what we refer to in the in user-based licensing when we talk about that here. Now, Tableau Server actually provides two licensing models. Um, one is, is user-based and the other is core-based. Now, for core-based licensing, you actually license the number of processor cores on any server that you're using to install Tableau Server. So effectively, what you're, what you're using or what you're licensing there is, is performance um, and not the number of unique users. That can be particularly useful for embedding because you might find that embedding you have a large number of, of more casual users that perhaps use the application once a month or, or once a quarter, uh, but they don't use the application very, for very long, um, in which case the ability to have core-based licensing, uh, it really allows you to, to, cater for those, to cater for those large numbers of, of more casual users. Um, if you were to use user-based user -based licensing for those users, um, it, it, might not be, it might not be as cost-effective. With Tableau Online, however, you only get the option of, of using user-based licensing because Tableau themselves are actually managing the hardware. Uh, there's no way of, of restricting the performance uh, capacity that you would have from the Tableau Online site. Uh, so only, only user-based licensing is available. Now, the, the asterisk here is because the user-based licensing on Tableau Online 
has a slight cost increment over the user based licensing on Tableau server. Um, and that's reflective of the fact that you don't actually need to deploy your own hardware um, when you're deploying Tableau online. So the cost of that hardware is something that you uh, that you don't incur. But that's that's obviously something that has to be invested uh, invested for by Tableau in order to provide you with that provide you with that service. So there is a, there is a cost differential there, um, and typically that cost differential is 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 what you would expect if you actually were to uh, invest in your own hardware to deploy that yourself. With with Tableau Public, obviously you have there's no licensing required. All of that is managed managed by Tableau, um, and you get access to a free service. Uh, when we talk about authentication, as we discussed before, uh, Tableau Server, you have the option for using single sign-on, but you also have the option for using uh, trusted authentication. When we talk about Tableau Online, you only have single sign-on and no and no trusted authentication. Again, Tableau Public, you have you have no authentication uh, required or provided there. For maintenance, Tableau Server, it's it's handled by the customer or or or, or, or partner. Uh, this covers things like initial installations, um, backups, uh, upgrades, uh, typical things that you would experience with on-premise software. Uh, from personal experience, uh, both from Vistory and, and with other organizations deploying Tableau, Tableau is very low maintenance. Um, it's very easy to maintain, um, but that's still perhaps a consideration when you're making a choice of how you'd want to, how you'd want to deploy Tableau. Perhaps if you're a particularly small organization, um, maybe you don't have a, a, a large IT team and you really want to minimize the impact of deploying Tableau on, on your resources, um, you might want to use Tableau online to avoid those, um, avoid those maintenance uh, requirements. And again, if you use Tableau public, Tableau handle all of the maintenance there, you don't need to, uh, you don't need to worry about anything. Uh, in terms of the location, Tableau online and Tableau public are, are purely in the cloud. Um, Tableau server can be installed wherever you, wherever you want it perhaps public cloud, private cloud, or even on-prem. Uh, one, one of our customers is, is, is a defense contractor, um, and they have a requirement that Tableau server is, is totally air-gapped. Um, so they have absolutely no um, connections to the outside world whatsoever, um, in which case, yeah, Tableau server is, is a clear choice for them um, because you've actually got, um, yeah, you've got that complete security that there's no, there's no connection between, uh, between Tableau. Tableau, yeah, I mean